Hi YouTubers, it's Angela. This is my week 18 update. I do apologize for how I look. I kind of look scruffy. I was told that I should um, not shower with the thing they stuck in my arm and I'll show that to you uh, after I give all my update. So I've just kind of been sponge bathing, which and my mom's going to help me wash my hair because I can't do it the way my bathroom is set up. So, but anyway, here's here's what's going on. This week I lost 4.6 pounds, which is really good considering that I'm not where I want to be because I had a kind of plan out of what was reasonable for me to lose per month and without being able to exercise for two and a half months, um, you figure all of uh, half of January, all of February, all of March, I haven't been able to exercise because of my legs. So. I'm kind of just happy that I'm still losing. Um, but some other interesting stats. Off my waist, since I started, I've lost 9 inches. Off of my hips, I've lost 9 inches. And off my neck, I've lost an inch and a half. Um, so that's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of amazed. Now, I'm not really down. I'm, my clothes are really baggy. But I'm, I guess that somehow I gained a bunch of weight kind of rapidly because I have one set of sizes and then there's like a gap and then another set of sizes and the set of sizes that I have in mind are getting really loose on me but the set of sizes that I have kind of I just capped um, are two sizes I guess about two sizes down and they're still too tight for me to feel comfortable in I can put them on and they look okay but for me they're too tight so I'm, I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place so I want to get the next, you know, 15, 20 pounds off fairly quickly so I can get into those sizes and I don't look like, you know, I'm wearing my, my you know, five and wearing my mama's clothes. Um, but some other stats, uh, from my journey itself, I've lost 94.2 pounds. From my consult, I've lost 80.2. And from surgery itself, I've lost 62.2. So, um, I don't know where I'm going to put my 100 pound mark. I, I think I'm going to put my 100 pound mark from surgery. Um, just to make it easier, but I'm getting close to the 100 pound mark from the, trip, from the whole journey. But those are all of like the stats kind of thing. Now, the update on my um, on what's going on with my leg, uh, I flashed it a couple times. As you can see, I have this thing that says "Do not use extremity," and I have to wear this until I am done. So it doesn't match everything, and I and I always try to kind of pull it around so the students just think it's something goofy on my arm, but I have this thing you can see it, in my arm. And you can see my, my saggy skin too. Um, this is called a pick line and they hook me up every morning to one of these and I sit there kind of like this and for an hour or so they give me an IV and then clean it up and I come on my way. But I can't get this thing wet um, even though it looks pretty tight, uh, because if this gets infected, because apparently, you should see this thing that they put in my arm. It goes from here to my heart. So they have this, I'm watching them do it, and there's this tube, and it's, it's like 30 inches long, because it goes all the way up my arm, through my chest, into my heart. And you can see that, you know, it's, it wasn't a tiny little thing either. It's a little freaked out. So I have to do that in, until I think next Friday. They're going to check on me before that to make sure that they don't take it out and then have to put another one back in. So the IV has been working much better than anything else. And I'm so happy when I went to my physician on Monday, my family physician, she said, you know what, this is our last option. It worked for you in the hospital. We're going to go ahead and do this. Um, and if her partner had done that, I could have started this, because I got this put in on Tuesday, I could have started this on Saturday, and uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so it's three days at least that, no, I'm sorry, I got put in on Wednesday, um, four days at least, I would have had um, this done, and instead of farting around, and that weekend was horrible, I was in so much pain, so... You know, it's kind of rough, but that's what's going on with my leg. Um, it is getting better. 
uh, it still does hurt, and I have heard that even when the uh, the infection is gone, it will hurt and it will swell. A friend of mine is a doctor, and he told me all this, but he said not to worry that the vancomycin will kill anything and you'll be fine. Um, so that's what's going on with my health. But I did want to do a very brief kind of product up update that I found was helpful to me because I think because I'm eating more, I'm suddenly getting like 300 to 400 calories a day which is not good. So I've kind of upped things. I was getting sick of cheese, and I am like the cheese queen now, but I did find this stuff. It's called um, Herlock's Dipping Mustard. It is uh, it's sweet and rough, but it's a little spicy. It's only 10 calories for a, ta uh, I'm sorry, a teaspoon, which you don't need a lot of this on your cheese. It only has one gram of sugar. There's no protein. There's no fat. This stuff is really, really good if you can get it. It tastes really, really good on just about every kind of cheese, and it kind of gives you another flavor. The other thing I found is they told me that I wasn't eating enough carbs, because I wasn't eating any, but I found this. It's called Pepperidge Farm Carb Style 100% Whole Wheat Bread, and it's only 60 calories a slice, which I can only eat one slice anyway, and for the carbs, there's actually eight carbs, but um, three is dietary fiber, but one slice has five plants of protein. So this is like a low-carb protein bread. And then to get my get my uh, sweet fix, I found this Del Monte No Sugar Added Mandarin Oranges. Um, this one is 40 calories for one of these little things. And I can't finish one of these because the, the oranges in there, are, they're smushy. Um, it's 40 calories. There's uh, six sugars, um, 12 carbs. I mean, it's a little, you know, high, but I have had no problem whatsoever eating these. Now, if you are worried about that, having too much sugar and too many carbs, um, there is these, which is Del Monte, uh, no sugar added peaches. These are only 25 per, uh, 25 calories per uh, little thingy. And this has six carbs and five sugars, but these are really good to get kind of your, your sweet fix. Now, I know everybody says, well, um, that fresh fruit's the best. But you know what? In a pinch, I can throw one of these and some cheese into my lunch bag, and I'm good for the day. And like I said, I really, this has less uh, sugar than, than oranges, and I, I just love oranges to death. So if you can, like I said, give a big old thumbs up. I still think this Pepperidge Farm bread is just freaking awesome. I mean, five grams of carbs and five grams of protein in one slice totally worth it. Um, I make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Again, thanks to Allison for the, for the no sugar peanut butter. Uh, on toast, it's re it tastes really good. It doesn't taste diety. The slices are normal size slices, so I give it a big old thumbs up. So that's my update. Um, like I said, I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and thank you so much for some of your protein um, suggestions. If you have any more, like I said, I'm still not getting enough. I'm getting more, but I'm still not getting enough. And I do think that also is affecting my weight loss. So goodbye to y'all, and keep up your good work.